Hi guys, quick note before we get into the video. I had this idea for an upcoming video. I wanted to make another patchwork sweater or a cardigan or, or something like that. But I had the idea that I wanted to make it like a community project. So if you are a crocheter and you want to make me a couple squares for my cardigan or whatever it's gonna be, I'm putting more info in the description but either DM me on Instagram or email me and we can talk about it. Anyone who wants to participate, it's just gonna be six by six inches squares. You just make like one to four squares, however many you want. I would ideally want them by the end of July. So, you know, just as soon as you could. We can talk about it more if you just wanna contact me. My info is below, but I think it would just be really fun to like have like a really funky, weird ass sweater made by, you know, people in this, cool community. So yeah, just let me know if you're interested. And here's the video. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Welcome back to um, this. I am here today with just like a quick little sit down video because I'm working on a project that won't be done for, you know, a few more days and I wanted to get something up sooner. And I thought about showing you guys my crochet collection. In my last video, I referred to my crochet collection as my crochet graveyard because a lot of stuff I make and then I never touch it, look at it ever again. And I'm not really sure why that is. It doesn't mean that I don't like some of this stuff. A lot of it I do like, but it just like sits in a corner of my room. So we are going to just go through some of my crochet stuff. Some of it I hate, some of it I love. Maybe it'll give you inspiration for some crochet projects or maybe we could just laugh about some of the dumb stuff that I've made. Let's just like jump right in. So I think we're just gonna quickly start with things that you guys have already seen. You know, things that we already know about. The infamous patchwork sweater. We love her, we do, but she's in the graveyard because of the colors, I'm sorry. Some of you love the colors, it's just not me. And then we have the other, the Miss Emma Chamberlain sweater. We love her too, but here's the thing. I, may, I used cotton and so it stretches a lot. It already stretched quite a bit, but this is something that I do think that I would wear maybe like in the fall. We'll see, I don't know. Um, and then we have this lovely sweater. We are so excited about her still. I just have to wait till the fall when I can actually wear it, but this is gonna be a good one. I'm, I'm actually gonna wear this one. And lastly, we have this purse in the graveyard. We don't have to talk about it. Watch my last video. <laughs> oh, and also um, don't look too closely at these because they're really dirty but I actually wear these a lot, like a lot. Remember her? Don't. Anyways, all those things that I showed, I showed just now are previous videos. If you haven't seen them, I have a crochet playlist, so go check them out maybe. Anywho, let's go back in time a little bit. I started crocheting probably in like 2018, 19. So the first thing that I ever made ever, which is kind of impressive, was this like little crop top. Unfortunately, she's in the graveyard. I've never worn I've never worn this before. But kind of kind of great for the first thing I ever made, right? Right? I mean, honestly, like impressed for this being the first thing I ever crocheted ever. I mean, like I totally could wear this. Why don't I? I don't know. It's actually really cute. All right. Okay. All right. Maybe I'll start wearing it. I went through a uh, a crop top phase this was this was why i started crocheting it was like i saw girls wearing like cute little trendy crop tops and i wanted to participate so i i did just that so i made this one which is kind of hard to see because it's black definitely in the graveyard for this one because i don't know it's just like really thick and heavy i hate this so much i, I it's hard to tell because it's black but it's like really big on me and I just like hate, I hate everything about it. The stitches are too tight so it's like kind of stiff. It's just like, it's really bulky. I, oof, big no. So we don't, we don't love her. This was another one of my, another one of my first crop tops that I made. Pretty cute though, like look at the, look at the border I have on there. 
it just like laces up and I also like even added little like booby things you know mm, I don't know I don't really like this one it's kind of just like a combination of the yarn that I used and the color and it's just like not super comfortable I don't like it this is just a little tank top, pretty plain, but again, it's like too sweatery to be like an actual tank top. Like it might actually be good in the winter, layered over like a long sleeve shirt. Like I feel like that's kind of cute and trendy right now, but I mean, it's a little bit big on me and a little bit bulky. Mm, I'll never wear it. Okay, this tank top I hate, I'm sorry. It's like a little halter top and it comes down in the back. So it shows like a lot of your back. I just don't like like the colors like why did i add one random gray stripe that was bad okay so the top itself actually isn't bad but i just hate the colors the colors it's really just this one gray stripe why did i why why but it's like cute that's all i have to say about it <laughs> this one i actually really love i think i've worn it in one of my videos before it's just a little simple tank top and i love the design uh, and I love the buttons and it's just very cute simple. This is something that I actually wear Cool. I mean self-explanatory cute Cute this is the last little crop top thing that I've made. I really like the yarn. I really like the color This is a more recent one. So I finally kind of understood like hook size gauge draping you know for clothing i was starting to get the hang of it in this one and i do actually really like this one but i still never really wear it because i don't know why why am i like this okay this is definitely my favorite of this style of crop top that i was attempting okay we're just gonna keep moving along okay so this next category is like bralettes so like similar crop top type things but i just have a couple of them so this first one is a little velvet bralette that i designed and i actually made a few of them for friends and gave and gave them to them because i actually really like this design i went through a velvet yarn phase for like quite a while i forgot how much i liked this one actually but it's it's a good one i like it and this next little bralette is interesting i i was trying to do something here i was trying to and it didn't work it's this little like kind of bathing suit-esque bandeau bathing suit. Yeah, I don't know really what I was trying to do. What I did was I actually lined it, also put elastic down the bottom. I don't really know why. I think I was like trying to make it tighter so it would stay up better. I don't know. I just like don't know where or when or why I would wear anything like this ever. It's very like retro bathing suit vibes, a little bit. Okay, this next thing is a little embarrassing, but I'm gonna show you anyways. I made these little booties, but like, wait till you see me trying them on. Ooh! <laughs> so they're two totally different sizes. I messed up on this one and this one came out better, but I didn't feel like making another one. So they're just a mismatched pair and I wear them around the house. <laughs> okay, so you guys wanna see something funny? I started as a knitter, so I learned how to knit in Girl Scouts in like fourth grade. I really only knew how to make like rectangles, like scarves and things like that. Like I never was an advanced knitter. But one summer when I was in college, I attempted to knit socks and I still have that attempt. I only ever made one. This is probably the ugliest thing I've ever made in my life. It's so sad looking. And that's why I started crocheting because I could not figure out the knitting thing. I have some winter-esque objects. Like I said, I had a velvet phase. Are you ready for this? So disregard the fact that I look heinous in hats. She's kind of cute, you know what I mean? This one though is for sure in the graveyard. <laughs> I just hate it, okay, um, terrible. So these two things I actually made while I was in Alaska and these are knitted. This was before I learned how to crochet. I wore this a bunch actually and I love it. And then this, I never really wore it but it's like just a little towel thing. Burr. <laughs> Burr. <laughs> it's just like a little cowl thing for like keeping your neck warm. 
So yeah, this was knitted too. If you ask me how I made these, I have absolutely no idea. I literally don't even think I remember how to cast on knitting needles. So uh, that would be a fun video, huh? I could try to knit again. What do we think about that? That could be hilarious. Moving right along. I feel like I'm talking a lot. I need a break. Anyone else need like an intermission? I put crocheting down for a while and then I got back into it last year like during quarantine. This was like one of the first things I made back in back to crocheting. And it's actually really pretty. It's a pattern by I want to say her name is like Siren Crochet. I'll put her name here. She has a tutorial for this bag on her channel. And it's really cute. I even like took the time to sew in a lining. And I did use this bag actually for a little while, but I used a cotton yarn and it starts to like, cause it rubs up against your body when you walk, you know? And it started to like pill pretty badly. I don't even know if you can tell on the camera, but that was my only complaint about this thing. And then I went through a phase with these colors and like purses and stuff, so I made, I never really finished this one. I was gonna add like a flap and a button. Definitely in the graveyard though, I never used that and never will. <laughs> going along with that color scheme, because clearly I had a thing going on, I made this pillow. I love this pillow. Yeah, I basically sewed my own pillowcase. I, I went through a sewing phase as well during quarantine. Yeah, so I basically made my own pillowcase for like this old pillow, and then I hand sewed this panel to the pillowcase so yeah i actually really love this like this is really cute um more just like random stuff i made this like doily thing once uh and then i never like starched it or whatever you're supposed to do to make it stiff and doily-esque but it's kind of cool i don't know oh also during that sewing period of time that i went through i made this like little i guess it could be like a makeup bag a pencil case whatever and I lined it, it has a zipper. Like I was getting real into like the intricate details of stuff. And I really like this, but I never use it. I think cause I, I don't wanna ruin it. You know what I mean? I made this hammock. This was from a tutorial. Most of all of this stuff is from tutorials. I just wanna say that too. If you want a specific one, leave a comment below and I'll, set, I'll try to find it and share the link. I don't feel like going through and finding all of them and linking them all in the description, <laughs> sorry. But if there's a specific one that you want a pattern for, I can let you know where I found the pattern or whatever. But yeah, I made this hammock and it's actually really cute, like for fruit or I had it hanging on my wall and I had some of my like amigurumi stuffed animals just chilling in it. Then I took a gander down tapestry crochet lane and I learned how to make these little like mug rugs here these are just patterns i found on pinterest you know just type in crochet mug rugs and you'll get stuff like this i had a lot of fun with tapestry crochet so i was thinking if you can make a mug rug why can't you just make a rug right so i scaled it up used my noggin to make my own pattern and i made a whole ass rug this is probably the thing that I'm the proudest of. I made it originally when I had a van and I was trying to build the van to live in and I was like, would be cute to have a little rug in there. Um, and then I sold the van. So. <laughs> so now this rug just stays folded in my closet because it's so pretty and I don't want my cats to ruin it or anything. But like, look at, like, that's beautiful. I'm sorry, I can't help it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really proud of this. I really love this. I just don't know what to do with it because I don't want my cats to ruin it so it stays hidden in the closet. With some of the leftover yarn, I made this steering wheel cover for my van. It doesn't really like match the vibes of my new car. You know what I mean? Like. Okay, and these are the last few things. I've made millions of these scrunchies. If you have like thick long hair, heavy hair, or any type of, any, I mean any type of hair really, but like the velvet scrunchies work so well like for my hair. So highly recommend making yourself some velvet scrunchies. And then I have like a small collection of amigurumi. A lot of the amigurumi that I've made, I've given away to people. So I don't have a lot of it left, but I made this little rainbow. Q 
cute. So I have a little llama and then I have a little piggy. I've made several other amigurumi, like I made an elephant, I made like a big teddy bear, or was it a rabbit? I think it was a rabbit. And then I made a bigger pig, I made a baby Yoda or whatever. Oh, I also made, for Valentine's Day, I made a few of these little hearts and gave them to people. They're just cute little whatevers. Oh wait, when I had that velvet yarn phase, I made this like baby blanket basically just been designated to our cats. I keep it on top of my bookshelf and my cats sleep on it. But yeah, I this feels weird because I am so used to filming videos across like multiple days as I'm like making a crochet project. So the fact that I just finished filming this in like 30 minutes feels odd, but I wanna be posting more. So I'm gonna try to do more videos like in between projects. So let me know like what else you'd like to see. Let me know if any of this stuff that you saw inspired you to wanna like make something or if you thought, I don't know if there, just let me know what you thought. I don't know. So I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of my progression of crochet over the years and some of the projects that I've done. I'm working on a project right now that I really love and I'm excited. It'll be my next video. So stay tuned for that. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching. And I guess I'll just see you in the next one, right? Bye.